Um, let's go on to talk about decimal places, which is not too bad. So decimal places. How many decimal places does this have? Two. All right. How many decimal places does that have? None. All right. How many decimal places does this have? <laughs> what is it? Three. three. Even though it's a zero on the end, right? It's still three. Yes? Okay. Easy enough. Significant figures I wish were as easy as decimal places, but they're slightly harder. Um, the quick explanation of significant figures, if you had to tell somebody in one sentence what significant figures are, how would you do so? Numbers, you mean, when you say numbers, you mean digits? Yeah. Di oh, integers, okay. So I would use the word digits, but how many digits there are in any number? Um, that seems easy enough, right? How many digits there are? The zeros is what makes it annoying. So when do zeros count? So for example, this is a funny one. They don't count when they're after the decimal before, like a number. That doesn't count. That one doesn't count. That one doesn't count, the one after the 0.53? Yeah. Does this count? No. Yes, it, it does. does. It actually does. We'll talk about when it counts and when it doesn't. Does this count? No. Okay, good. That doesn't count. Um, Wait, why doesn't that one count? All right, this doesn't count. All right, so the word significant, it means like important. Is this zero important to the number? Does this, num does this zero tell you something important about the number? Well, the zero on the end, this, hold on, this zero right here, it's telling you that this number, 0.53 something, is probably rounded. Maybe it was 0 0.5301 and you rounded it to three significant figures, and when you rounded it, the one went away, but the zero is telling you it's still like a little bit bigger than 0.53. It's weird. Are it's there weird. Are there also cases where you can add on zeros to the end and it doesn't really have yeah, any I know. And yeah, so we're going to go through a bunch of examples and see when it counts, when it doesn't count, give you a, a better idea. Does this one count? Yes. That definitely counts. So when the zero is between two digits, it counts. So let's do this. Um, when are zeros significant? When are zeros not significant? So not significant. All right. So it's always, zeros are always significant between two other numbers. And again, we're just focusing on the zeros here. So between two other digits, they're always significant. Oh, this word's supposed to be digits. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so it's always significant between two other digits. Is it ever significant um, before, like at the very start of a number, 0 0.003, for example? Are those zeros, are any of them significant? You think so? The Which ones? They're actually not. How many significance does 0 0.003 have? Only one. Only one. Yeah. So zeros at the start are never significant. So again, we're only talking about zeros. So at the start, they're not significant. Okay, zeros at the start, never significant. Zeros between, always significant. So now I guess we have to talk about zeros at the end. Um, it kind of depends. Um, for example, uh, let's do it over on this side. If I wanted you to round 29.8 to, to two significant figures, Round 29.8 to two significant figures. What do you get? That is right. Round 29.8 to one significant figure. What do you get? It has.
has to be close to 29.8. It's a trick question. It's just 30. I know, it's annoying. Because to two significant figures, well, you that zero in the first question, because of the question I asked, it is significant here. But here, it's not significant. That's probably the most annoying thing I've ever told you in life. Um, how does that make sense? It kind of doesn't. Hold on, let me pause this. So, zeros at the end count sometimes. It depends on the context. So, the first 30, when I asked around to, what did I say, to around to two significant figures, that zero does count. But at the, the second one, when I asked to round to one significant figure, the second one did not count. The second zero did not count. But... Um, if the zero is after a decimal point and at the end, so for example, the 530, this one here that we have, at the end, after a decimal point, does that count or does, does that not count? It does. So it's significant if it's after a decimal point at the end. And I specified at the end, why? How about if it's in front, not at the end of the number? So, for example, um, for example, 0 0.03. One significant figure, why? Because they're placeholders. You just said it. All right, so... After the decimal point, but at the beginning, they don't count. After the decimal point, at the beginning, they don't count. So then you just write 0? zero. Um, 0.03. 0 0.03 has how many? Mm. Only one, the 3. The 3's three count. The 3's the so regular number. What would you wrap it to? Depending on what I asked for. If I asked you to round it to one significant figure... It's point zero zero point zero three. It doesn't turn into zero. I don't know if that makes sense. But that zero so even though you were saying the zeros at the start, the zero so you could be asking for no. one point six big and still have like two numbers, two digits. Okay. Well, the two the two digits, the zero and the zero, aren't significant. Aren't significant. Yeah, still have like more than one. So you I, sometimes in fun with the decimal point, they are. Like, there's no decimal points, you just... Hold on. So, just one more thing, just to remember, zeros don't count at the start. Even if they're after the decimal point, they do not count at the start. You start counting once you hit the first digit other than zero. So, this number, 0 0.03, is only one significant figure.